Lego Indiana Jones. He's lost his mind with his bones, rolling boulders all the time. Finding Indiana Jones, it's here tonight. So, Lego Indiana Jones follows roughly the first three movies. Came out right after Star Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. And does not have any trophies slash achievements for PlayStation 3. It does, however, have trophies slash achievements on PlayStation Now and Xbox 360 and Xbox One. So if you're actually looking <coughs> for trophies slash achievements, you'll have to either play it on PlayStation Now Xbox 360 or Game Pass on Xbox One just to get the trophy slash achievements as there are none on the original PlayStation 3 version. Other than that, uh, it plays roughly the exact same. In fact, you could just use, unlike the newer games, you could actually just use the password thing just to unlock all of the characters in Red Bricks instantaneously. It's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah. I quite enjoy this game. It's not one of my most favorite of all the LEGO games. Uh, and I still have... It's one of the more challenging LEGO games, especially to get all of the treasure chests that you need to get all of the mini kits. Um... First level's a beast. It just gives you three attempts in the roller, in the rolling section. And you actually have to get through the rolling section in order to get one of the red, one of the gold bricks. And that roll brick, or that, uh, what do you call it, treasure chest thing for the mini kit is the only one that I still can't get in the game because. I can't time my jumps correctly just to make it through within three times to be able to time it perfectly to get that mini cat. But, you know, that's life. Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.